Hello everybody, you you youth 92 here with some WWE 2K16 gameplay. Uh just here to talk about, you know, the man on the screen himself. And I ain't talking about Phil, I'm talking about BC Young God Baron Corbin. So NXT TakeOver London happened. And Baron Corbin pulled out a big upset. A lot of people were surprised that Baron Corbin beat Apollo. And so was I. But I would say about two weeks before, I was like, yo, fucking Baron Corbin. Because I, the when I first saw the match, I'm like, oh, Apollo's going over, you know. He's the one they're putting the money on. He's the one that's going to be a big star. And Apollo Crews is fucking awesome, man. That match he had with Finn. I can't wait to see that rematch. But then I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Baron Corbin has not gotten that big win. I feel like it's going to happen, and it happened. BC himself took out Apollo Crews. He ended the Apollo Crews undefeated streak, and uh, he did a backstage promo on how he is claiming to be the number one contender. And I'm like, that's true, you know. He's gotten some big wins now, you know. He's gotten some wins. So, I don't know if they're actually going to make it happen, but I don't know who could be next, really, because Joe is pretty much like, there's no way Joe can have a rematch. He got beat fair and square. And, like, the only person I was thinking about is Sami Zayn, but I don't think he's staying in NXT too long. I, I don't know. So... Like, I don't know. I just don't see it happening. You know, Joe and Sami Zayn getting that thing. I would love to see a Sami Zayn um, match between Finn, but I'm telling you, uh, I'm pretty sure fucking uh, Sami's getting to the main roster as quick as possible. Maybe even Royal Rumble. I'm pretty sure they're going to have one NXT guy in the Royal Rumble, and if I had to take a guess, it would be Sami. And he's going to eliminate Kevin Owens, and they're going to start that feud, hopefully. Oh my God, BC! Look at this man! Look at look at this man! Look at what I do to this man! My football abilities, my five, my four rings. Is it four rings? That's what big men do to little boys. Look at what we do to little boys. We fucking throw them. Let's go, BC! So yeah, I was having to talk to myself, and I was like, 2016. I want 2016. Uh, I have a separate, you know, thing for WWE, but NXT. I want NXT to be about a couple people. And, you know, uh, hopefully the Elias Samson debut goes well, because I see a lot of money in Elias Samson. You know, he's good. He's a good wrestler, so I see a lot of money in him. Uh, you know, I definitely see Finn leaving the main, uh, going for the main roster in this year. There is no way they're keeping Finn there. Finn's done everything, and, you know, he's had the title for a long time now. Definitely don't see Sammy there. Sammy's probably going to be there in fucking Royal Rumble. Uh, fucking NXT is definitely going to be based around probably more Samoa Joe, a little bit more Samoa Joe. Apollo Crews for sure. I could definitely see an Apollo Crews Samoa Joe rivalry that would like make him look like a fucking star. But I'm telling you, NXT definitely see uh, Chad and Gable. Uh, fuck it. Chad and Gable. That's to show you how important Chad Gable is. He's the tag team by himself. Chad and Gable. <laughs> Fucking Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. I definitely seen them being the next big thing. I also think Enzo and Kaz are finally going to be on the main roster. Because exactly what I said. If they didn't win the titles at the NXT TakeOver London, they're not going to win it anytime soon. I thought BC don't play. Look at, look at what I do with this little boy. So, I definitely see NXT is going to be the year of, you know, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. Uh, hopefully, they do something with fucking Ty Dillinger. This guy is super over. Like, fucking Sami Zayn kept cutting his promo when his match was done, and they just kept yelling 10. Anytime they would do anything with 10, they would just yell out 10. This guy is super over. So, fucking definitely want to see Ty Dillinger be a big deal. That's if I was booking, you know what I mean? <laughs> But uh, NXT uses everyone pretty well, you know. The only guy who really got shafted, and that's because he didn't wait probably long enough, was Solomon Crow. I, I definitely know, because Solomon Crow was in the midst of a heel turn. He was about to turn heel. 
it just never happened because he left because you know he wants to like you know make a name for himself like no one really NXT gets doesn't really get used you know what I mean so I'm telling you so this is my big prediction for NXT I think that NXT is finally gonna have that dominant heel champion and who better than BC young God himself Baron Corbin I think this is a big, big, wild prediction. A lot of people think I'm probably crazy, but I think Baron Corbin is going to be the first guy to beat the Demon. They are pushing this finisher of the end of days, how nobody in their right mind kicks out of the end of days. I definitely think Finn will be the first to kick out of the end of days, but I am 1,000% sure... BC himself is being set up as the guy who's going to beat the demon. And I even asked myself at this point, who else could it be? You know what I mean? You can't leave NXT and just never suffer a loss. He has one loss, Finn Balor does. He has one loss to Kevin Owens. That's it, and it wasn't even in the demon. He's never lost as a demon. So, you got to give it to a guy who needs it. And Baron Corbin needs it. You know, a lot of people don't like Baron Corbin, but that's the thing. I've always been a fan of him, even since he was, like, a jobber. And I always saw, just like, you know, you, you just see a guy, you get like, all right, he's 6'8". You know, he has a football background. But let's see if he can transfer well to wrestling. And this has been his year, man. The guy's good, and people hate this fucking guy. Like, I would love to see this guy as champion, because the hate and the heat this guy would get would be amazing. A little deep six right there. Oh, so... And just like, you know, we've had uh, the, you know, super only mega heel champion we had was Owens. And he left really quick because he got promoted to the main roster. End of days. Japanese table. It didn't break. Save the table. Save the table. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, like, I just imagine this guy as a champion would be a fucking boss. And you could even set up Apollo Crews being the guy to take him down later on when, like... Because I definitely see a Finn Balor slash Baron Corbin feud. Baron Corbin's the first man to beat the Demon. You know, uh, fucking rematch. You know, Baron Corbin could win by disqualification or something like that. Finn goes bye-bye to the main roster. Then we have Apollo Crews and Samoa Joe feuding. They, they, they could, like, make that happen out of nowhere. Maybe you could throw in James Storm in there. Maybe James Storm tries to take a crack at fucking Baron Corbin. Fucking, you know how much Baron Corbin can learn from James Storm? A lot. Like, I have all these ideas, and it will all end up Baron Corbin versus Apollo Crews. And you can make it the thing. Like, hey, fucking Apollo, I'm the guy who beat you. And then, like, Apollo, you know, he goes through some people. He goes through some rivalries. But I definitely think he should definitely go through Joe last. Then you set up this big Baron Corbin slash Apollo Crews match, and there you go. You can pull the trigger. You keep Corbin the champ for a good six, you know. Six, five months should be a good heel run for him. So, like, you have that, and then you build up Apollo Crews, and then there we go. We got fucking, we got Apollo Crews as a champion, you know. He gets his win back, you know, because that's the thing I like about NXT. They don't really concentrate on the even-steven booking, and I'm not a big fan of it. it. It's what ruins a lot of things in WWE. Because, like, you know, make an example. You see, like, that's why, that's why Bray Wyatt is, like, victim to. Bray Wyatt will win one match, and then... You know he's not winning the other one. You know what I mean? The even Steven booking is what kills WWE right now. Because, like, it doesn't matter who wins the first match. Because you're like, oh, yeah, if someone wins the first match, oh, bitch, fuck you, Japanese table. Because, like, even Steven booking works sometimes. Not when you do it every single five seconds. Because then it's like, oh, that guy won the first match. He's going to win the second match, and then he's going to lose the rivalry. And I'm like, oh, my God. That's why Bray Wyatt just got fucked up by that. Look at, look at what I do to this young boy in this corner. Look at, look at, look at this beat down. Oh, my God. Ref, like, you could stop this match at any time. I'm just saying, man. So, yeah, I definitely want to see, like, I think this is the time, you know. That's the thing. Baron Corbin has been pushed, but he's never been, like, you know, that guy or main event. Uh, he's getting a lot more comfortable with his character. He says a lot of hilarious things. Fucking telling Apollo to go back to ROH. I'm like, oh my god, this guy has fucking no filter. This guy's great. And that's the thing, he believes in himself a lot, you know what I mean? Like, you know, 
I know he can feel like he's a cocky dick, especially if you watch uh, Breaking Ground. He feels like a, like, you know, a cocky asshole, but, like, sometimes you gotta be, and, you know, him is to a certain extent, because I don't usually, like, you know, dig people like that at all. That's why, like, I can't stand CM Punk with a passion. I think that guy is whatever. But I just think Corbin doesn't do it in an obnoxious way, and he doesn't put down, you know, anybody else, you know what I mean? Like, he's not sitting there going, Finn Balor's trash, you know what I mean? Doing interviews and being like, oh, everyone else sucks except for me. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen, Finn. So, like, he's cocky, he believes in himself, but he keeps it to a, you know, a certain degree. So, I definitely want to see it happen, you know. I, I, see, I see, there's a lot of potential with this guy. Like, you know, I feel like he's also going to be a guy who's going to get pushed well on the main roster, just size-wise. Like, McMahon's probably going to look at him and be like, he's 6'8". 250 pounds, okay, main eventer. <laughs> Not that quick, but, <laughs> you know, McMahon logic, if you big, you going dumb. So, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Fucking, we are NXT. Like, subscribe, and all that shenanigans. BC Young God. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here's your winner.